Okay, welcome pa rin dito sa Alts Reviewer Philippines YouTube channel at sa ating website altsreviewer.com at uh, ito naman ay math review. Uh, problem solving tayo ngayon at ang gagamitin natin ay ratio and proportion, the rule of three. Ano tong tinatawag na rule of three mga kaibigan? Itong rule of three, ibig sabihin sa ratio and proportion, kapag given yung tatlong numbers or terms in a, sa proportion, pwede na nating makuha yung uh, isang number na missing using cross multiplication. Okay, so makikita ninyo ito dito, uh, dito sa ating mga examples. Alright, so number one, in a concert, 1,000 people are expected to attend. However, 896 people actually attended based on the tickets collected. What percent of the expected attendees actually watched the concert? Alright, so percentage lang tayo dito. 896 is what percent of a thousand. Ganun lang yan. So, using the rule of three, pag ratio and proportion ang gagamitin natin, okay? Ang 100%, 1,000. Ilang percent naman ang 896? So, ang gagawin lang natin, representing it into ratio and proportion, okay? Uh, cross multiplying, 100 and 896, and then x times 1,000, so, kunin natin yung 1,000x is equal to 89,600. Eliminate natin yung value ng 1,000 dito para ang material lang ay x. So, ano gagawin natin? Divide natin both sides with one number. Okay? Both sides with 1,000. Cancel lang natin yan. Ang natitira na lang ay x. Okay? Okay, nansil kasi natin ito, 1,000 divided by 1,000, hindi 1 na lang siya. Kaya natitira na lang is x equals, eto naman, dalawang 0, uh, may tatlong 0 ang 1,000, so i-cancel natin yung dalawang 0. May natitira pang isang 0 dito, but actually, dividing by tens, ang uh, tawag dito, 896 divided by 10, uh, yung uh, whole number, Always remember, whole number has got the decimal place on the right. So, i-move lang natin ito one place to the left kung divided by uh, 10. Okay, dahil isa lang ang 0. Kung dalawa naman ang 0, move lang natin ng dalawang places. So, dito, pwede rin natin gawing direkta na. 1, 2, 3. Move lang natin ng 1, 2, 3. Okay. Pero, pwede, mas maganda kasi pagka... Uh, makita nyo yung trail kung paano yung cancellation, okay? So, ang naging uh, uh, value ng X is 89.6%. So, yung 896 is 89.6% of the total expected 1,000 people to supposed to attend the concert. Ayun. So, maliwanag. Tingnan natin ang number 2. Right. Mary Jo launched her online business on Facebook and expected to gain 10,000 likes through a Facebook campaign. After running the ads, she actually gained 8,750 likes in a week. How many percent is the actual likes gained? I mean, usapan dito is yung uh, duration ng campaign ng ads ni Mary Jo, which is one week. Okay, given facts natin is... 100% is uh, 10,000. Yun yung expected likes niya. Ngayon, ang uh, 8,750 likes na nakuha niya is how many percent of the 10,000 actual uh, expected, I should say, expected likes. So, gagawin natin using the rule of 3, 100 over X equals 10,000 over 8,750. Cross multiplying, cross multiply natin, ibig sabihin, i-multiply natin ito at saka ito, and then x, and then 10,000. So, magiging value ng uh, other side of the equation will be 10,000x is equal to 875, 
and then uh, zero, dagdag natin yung dalawang zero, eight, seven, five thousand. Alright? Eliminating the ten thousand there para ang matira lang ay x. Okay? Dividing both sides of the equation with the one thousand. Okay? So, ang natitira na lang, x is equal to 87.5. Yung sinabi natin kanina, mayroong ilang zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. Move lang natin yung decimal place. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that means 87.5%. Okay? Remember, dividing a number by zero, by, by uh, hundreds, uh, by tens, hundreds, and thousands, is just like moving a decimal place from the right to the left. Kung ilang zeros yon, kung ilang zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, so apat na beses mo lang i-move ka, expect dito yung decimal place because it's a whole number. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 87.5%. Okay. Let's go to the next. Number 3. Right. So, nice went shopping for her birthday party. She purchased a pair of high heels for 1,995 pesos, a dress for 2,450 pesos, and a scarf for uh, 437 pesos. When she got to the cashier, she used a 20% off gift card. How much did she actually pay? So, see, nice. Uh, Magbo-birthday siya, bumili siya ng high heels, damit, at saka scarf. At nandito yung mga prices. Nung nagbayad siya, 20% off, meron siyang gift card. So, magkano ngayon ang kanyang binayaran? 20% off dun sa total ng kanyang pinamili. Okay, so, using yung ating uh, uh, acronym na GANSA, Given Facts, What is Asked, Number Sentence, Solution, and then your actual answer, okay? Para makita lang natin yung trail kung paano natin nakuha yung mga numbers. Right. So, ang given, yung high heels, ito. Dress, ito. Scarf, ito. 20% discount. Uh, gift card, yung ginamit niyang discount. So, ibig sabihin, pag mayroon siyang discount na 20%, 80% lang yung kanyang binayaran ng total. Okay? Maliwanag yun. So, what is asked? How much did she actually pay? Okay, so ngayon, ang total nito, kunin na natin ang total, addition, okay, 4,882. Right, parehas. What is asked? How much did she actually pay? Yung number sentence natin, using the rule of 3, 100% is 4,882. Ano naman yung 80%? Yung uh, X na hinahanap natin. Using uh, cross multiplication, yun ang gamit natin, cross multiplying, Okay, so uh, 100 and then x, 80 and then 4,882. So magiging x is equal to 4,882, yun yun, times 80, eto, divided by 100. Kasi ang mangyayari niyan is 100x, kaya i-divide din natin later on yung 100. So ilagay natin dito direct ha? Okay, so I hope na nasundan ninyo yung trail ng pag-alis natin kanina ng uh, any number accompanying the variable x dito. So, i-divide lang natin siya. Yun yung ginawa natin kagad dito, kaya meron na siyang 100 dito. So, ang sagot, doing this multiplication and division, the answer will be 3,905.6 pesos. Okay? Ang answer natin, therefore, 80% of this value, yung total, ay 3,905.60. Ito yung actual na binayaran ni uh, NICE. Okay? Uh, dahil meron siyang 20% uh, discount off. 80% lang ang binayaran niya. Which is smaller than the actual uh, price. Right. So, tuloy-tuloy tayo. Dito na tayo sa number 4 question. During a sale, a computer originally priced at 36,000 pesos was sold at a discount of 20%. O 20% discount na naman. Find the selling price of the computer after the discount. So, 36,000 pesos, yun yung original price, di discount siya ng 20%. So, using the rule of 3, 
100 percent over 80 percent 36,000 over uh, the value we are looking for cross multiplication okay uh, dito pala para makita natin kasi 20 percent yung discount so 80 percent lang yung actual price so ang gamitin na natin para direct the 80 percent of the actual price okay so cross multiplying x therefore is 36,000 times 80 over 100 that will be equal to cancellation, okay, 28,800. This is the selling price after the discount of 20%. All right, let's go to the next. Number five, Manny's monthly salary has increased from 20,000 pesos to 21,500 pesos. Calculate the percentage increase in his monthly salary. Okay. Sometimes, medyo nakakalito ang uh, mga problems na ganito. Kailangan lang may presence of mind tayo. Okay. Ang base kasi natin is yung original uh, salary niya, which is 20,000 pesos. Okay. Tingnan natin. So, 100%, 20,000. Yun yung original na salary. X percent ngayon, ito yung tumaas na sahod. X percent, 21,500. Kasi ang hinahanap natin is percentage increase. Okay? Kung bagkano yung itinaas ng sahod niya dun sa original na sahod, ilang porsyento ang kanyang itinaas. So, hindi pwedeng itong 21,500 ang pagbasihan natin. Kundi yung original na sahod niya. Right? So, ang gagawin natin, cross multiplication. Okay? So, magiging uh, value is x is equal to 21,500 times the 100 there. Okay, ang magiging kasama ng x is 20,000. So, i-divide lang natin yung 20,000 dito para ma-eliminate yung 20,000 dito. So, we have the equation x is equal to 21,500 times 100 over 20,000. So, this is cancellation lang tayo. Yung dalawang zero, alasin natin dalawang zero. Mayroon pang dalawang zero yung natitira. Dalawang zero pa. Okay. So, mayroon tayong 215 divided by 2. Alright. And 215 divided by 2 is 107.5 percent yung hinahanap natin. Ngayon, ito na ngayon yung salary niya. Sa kasalukuyan kasi tumas, na, tumas niya yung 21,500. That is... 107.5%. So, ang hahanapin lang natin, magkano ang porsyento, percentage increase, yung kanyang uh, salary. So, alisin lang natin yung uh, itinaas doon sa 100%. So, 107.5 minus 100, that's 7.5%. Yun yung percentage increase ng kanyang salary. Okay? Let's go to another way. O, meron tayo another way dito. Pwede rin yung gamitin, kung hindi nyo gagamitin yung rule of three, alimbawa, 21,500 minus yung original na salary, which is 20,000. Ang uh, value is 1,500. So, yung 1,500, i-divide lang natin doon sa uh, original salary, which is 20,000. We get the value 7.5%. Okay? 